This is directed by the guy who made Your Highness. All the Real Girls is directed by David Gordon Green, and it stars Paul Schneider, Zoe Deschanel, Danny McBride, Patricia Clarkson, and Shea Wiggum. And it follows a guy named Paul, played by Paul Schneider, who is basically a player. He sleeps with a ton of women in his town, and he's basically known as the worst ex-boyfriend ever, until he genuinely falls in love with his best friend's younger sister, played by Zoe Deschanel. So I've wanted to see All the Real Girls for a very long time. I really like David Gordon Green. He's known for directing stuff like Pineapple Express, Your Highness, The Sitter, and the reboot slash sequel to Halloween. But he's also had a great career directing independent movies like George Washington, Snow Angels, Joe, Prince Avalanche, and All the Real Girls. It also has a great cast like Zoe Deschanel, who, by the way, is definitely the best part about this movie. She is phenomenal, which is kind of nice to see. I find sometimes with a movie like this that's centered around the guy, as the this movie kind of is it could be very easy to make the woman very two-dimensional but Zoe Deschanel brings a lot to this role as well as the writing the writing also makes her a lot stronger as well so I could really appreciate that Zoe Deschanel was also in 500 days of summer so I think she has a very good eye for rom-coms and romantic movies and which ones work and which ones don't for the most part this also stars Paul Schneider who most of you will probably know as Mark Brandanowitz from Parks and Recreation Okay, controversial opinion. I kind of like Mark Brandanowitz. Maybe this is something that I'll make a video on in the future, but I genuinely do like it, and I think it's because I genuinely like Paul Schneider. I think he's charming, I think he's got some charisma, and he's really good in this movie too. He's playing a guy who has basically been a giant asshole to every woman he's ever been with, and is finally starting to realize that he has made a mistake and treated people poorly and needs to turn his life around. Something that is unfortunately... Not fucking common. And for the most part, Paul Schneider is really good in this movie. There are a couple scenes where he gets a little bit more upset and animated, and he's doing an accent, so some of it kind of comes off as a bit comical, and I don't think that's what they were going for. So that kind of pulls you out of it a little bit. But at the same time, there's really only a couple instances where that happened, and for the most part, he's really good and really likable in this movie. I've also seen him in a couple other things, too. He was really good in Elizabeth Town, but, you know, hopefully in the future, he he can be really good in movies that are a little bit more memorable than Elizabeth Town. Now talking about the story, the story really works for me too. This is a guy who is trying to turn over a new leaf after making a really really awful reputation for himself and I really like that now that this guy is actually in love with somebody and actually wants to be with them long term he's realizing that his behavior has been pretty unacceptable in the past and he really needs to take it into account to be a good guy and that's something I could really relate to I liked seeing this character as a young guy who was young enough that he hadn't really started living his life yet but he was also old enough to have burned enough bridges to where he's made a terrible reputation for himself. And I like the fact that this guy is trying to change and he's trying to be a good person and people don't really believe that he's going to do it or that he's going to take it seriously. The chemistry between Paul Schneider and Zoe Deschanel is also very sweet. You totally buy that they're in love with each other and that they like spending time together. It's a very sweet movie because of that and their relationship definitely helps pick things up. Now for issues, I guess what I would say is the biggest problem is that the movie feels a little bit unfocused sometimes this is an independent movie and it's very independent and takes place in a small town there's acoustic guitar nice shots of the wilderness so it's very independent but i think sometimes it felt a little bit pretentious where there are certain scenes where people are saying things that are very artistic or poetic and sometimes it just makes you go like what are you trying to say why can't you just say it more straightforward and it didn't really bother me for the most part but there were a few parts in this movie where you're you're like can we just get back to the relationship i don't really care about like the side plot with this guy and his daughter like not that they're bad characters but like we're hardly ever talking to them if this was a movie about the community i would understand but it's really not about the community it's about zoe deschanel and paul schneider getting together but aside from those complaints honestly all the real girls is a really good movie i really enjoyed watching it i would definitely recommend it especially to people who like romance movies and maybe want to learn a little bit more about david gordon green's filmography I'm going to give All the Real Girls a 7.5 out of 10. This is a good movie. It definitely makes me want to see more of Paul Schneider's stuff and Zoe Deschanel's work. So, are you intrigued to watch All the Real Girls? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, I just want to announce that next week, my movie reviews are going to be taking a 
bit of a different direction, something I would call a bit of a more interesting direction, and I'm excited for you all to see it, but I just want to give a heads up that it's not going to be exactly the same as the format I've been doing, and it will hopefully be a good thing, so next week during my next movie review, let me know what you guys think of the new format. I'm excited for you all to see it. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and share this with your friends, and as always, stay groovy, watch a movie.